The aim of this video is to explain the treatment of amylogenesis imperfecta. Amylogenesis imperfecta AI, implies a lifelong indication for dental care. Patients with different forms of AI may suffer from hypersensitivity, occlusal wear, functional and aesthetic problems. For these patients, maintaining a functional dentition throughout life can be a challenge. The phenotypic appearance of AI ranges from hypoplastic to hypermineralization. Hypoplastic AI can be subdivided into smooth, rough and pitted type. Hypermineralized AI comes with varying degrees of hypermaturation or hypercalcification with altered color and translucency. The restorative treatment of AI can be divided into four phases, primary dentition, 1 to 6 years old, mixed dentition, 7 to 11 years, permanent dentition, 12 to 19 years, adult dentition, 20 plus years. In young patients, the treatment follows four objectives, monitoring and carries prevention, pain prevention and treatment, protection of dental tissue integrity in order to maintain a collusal function and prevent enamel breakdown, and to limit dental biofilm retention. Restoration of smile aesthetics, often with direct composite. Treatment should begin as soon as possible according to patient compliance. In some cases general anesthesia may be necessary. Stainless steel crowns are indicated in primary molars affected by hypoplastic or hypermineralized AI in order to reduce tooth sensitivity and to restore enamel loss. Thus, the vertical dimension is maintained. Aesthetic pediatric crowns may be considered to restore primary teeth. In children, clinical follow-up should be planned at least every six months. Treatment of the mixed dentition is generally focused on reduction of hypersensitivity and improvement of the appearance. In a study 72% of patients often or sometimes experienced pain or sensitivity. Rehabilitation must be done as soon as teeth erupt. In hypermineralized forms, glass ionomer cements on occlusal surfaces are efficient in preventing pain and allowing temporizing until teeth eruption is achieved. Both treatment objectives can generally be achieved with direct resin composite restorations. Direct resin composite restorations in the anterior region can usually be applied in a few treatment sessions, dependent on the experience of the operator and the number of teeth to be treated. They can be monitored in the mixed dentition and adjusted if necessary. Furthermore, revision and repair of restorations is relatively easy. Good outcomes can also be achieved by indirect dental composites. No prep veneers or minimally invasive veneers rehabilitation is an alternative treatment. CAD-CAM allows a fast and accurate acquisition and provides access to composite or hybrid materials available only in machinable shapes. This long-term aesthetic restoration and conservative approach allows to wait for the end of the growth to perform more definitive restorations. As for the mixed dentition, Treatment of the permanent dentition is focused on reduction of hypersensitivity and improvement of appearance. Depending on the complexity of occlusal rehabilitation, indirect restorative techniques may facilitate treatment. The advantage of restoring the teeth shortly after eruption is that there is still space in between the teeth for these restorations. An example of a simple way to obtain interproximal space is the application of separation elastics. To improve the function, 
the aesthetics and occlusion, orthodontic treatment is necessary in many cases. To ensure inter-occlusal and proximal space, orthodontic treatment may be necessary. Careful, interdisciplinary and backward planning before start of the treatment is essential. If there is a skeletal deviation, interdisciplinary consulting and planning of the orthodontist, dentist and sometimes orofacial surgeon just before pubral growth is necessary. The goal of treatment for adult patients is to maintain a functional dentition throughout life. Revision of restorations may be necessary. Next to continued attention for reduction of hypersensitivity and improvement of appearance, treatment of occlusal wear may be more prominent in the permanent dentition. Although minimal invasive restorations are preferred, there can be an indication for treatment with conventional crowns. With a setup the desired occlusal dimensions can simulated and transferred to temporary restorations with a mold. Indirect restorations can be particularly useful in cases without enamel or when the enamel is of very poor quality. In contrast to normal or healthy teeth, the biological damage is then limited. With crown treatment a good prognosis can be offered. A systematic review of the survival and complication rates of single crowns reveals a survival rate of around 95% after 5 years. Treatment strategies of AI are various and complex. Skeletal and dental developmental stages, cooperation, severity of the disorder and individual preferences of the patient are decisive for the treatment planning. Interdisciplinary consultation and care of dentist, dental hygienist, orthodontist and sometimes oral surgeon is vital. Preservation of a functional dentition depends on lifetime monitoring and maintenance.